Hey Internet, today's episode is, is it worth investing in Grace of the Owls and Luck of the Dwarves? So this is Grace of the Owls and Luck of the Dwarves. So let's talk about what they do. So for Grace of the Owls, you get uh, siren spirit from gathering skills, farming, woodcutting, mining, fishing, archaeology. And this siren spirit gives you a gift in your bank. It's usually just random materials. It gives you a 500 porter uh, holder, basically. So as you can see, I've got 94 out of 500. So you can put sign up porters into your Grace of the Elves. Now that is the main attraction. The Siren Spirits, not so much. I mean, if you combine the Siren Spirits with the Luck of the Dwarves, then you get a chance to get the ring of a Halsmere Signet Ring, which doubles drops with a certain percentage from monsters which is okay but it's like a 1 in 64 million chance of getting Halsmere's signet ring let's just call it HSR for short okay it also has the ability to teleport to a certain areas from your max guild teleport portal so i have assigned it to the incandescent wisp colony just for an example but you can assign it to different places for those places you can just uh, use the wiki and search up what you want to assign it to okay and as for the luck of the dwarves it's a ring that gives you tier 4 luck it has some stat bonuses it allows you to teleport to miscellanea grand exchange and caldigram okay so let's get to the main point are they worth investing individually i would say only the ring is worth investing but the Grace of the Elves, on its own, is probably not. Combined together, yes, if you are training gathering skills, absolutely. Okay. Now, they are tradable first time. So, they're roughly around 65 mil on GE right now, as of recording. But once you equip it, they become non-tradable for the grace of the elves for the luck of the dwarves i believe it is tradable regardless if you equip it or not okay now also the grace of the elves halves your prayer drain rate for those siren prayers so light form, super heat, and chronicle absorption. So you may also want to use that, get the Grace of the Elves for that, although it's that's trivial in comparison to the 500 sign of porters. I think that is the main reason why anyone would want to buy the sign of porters for the sheer convenience of having 500 sign of porters ready to use to bank items now if you're gonna buy it versus making it I would suggest making it if you have a hundred and seven invention as you need a hundred and seven to make the alchemical onyxes Now, to get alchemical onyxes, you need 
fortunate components. So you need at least 50 per item. So you need 50 for this, Luck of Dwarves, and 50 for the Grace of the Elves. So it is cheaper to make it than it is to buy off Grand Exchange. All right. It also allows you to attune the portal manual. Ah. So, yeah, we talked about that. Okay. All right. So, here it is. That's a short video. Collectively investing in both items, yes. If you don't want to invest in just a single item, then forgo the Grace of the Elves and just focus on Luck of the Wolves because you can use that in combat. It's good. You can use it out of combat. If you're going to buy them as a set, then definitely it is worth training for gathering skills. Okay, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Ring the bell, turn on all notifications, leave a comment whether you would consider buying Grace of the Elves and Luck of the Dwarves, or would you use your GP on a different item or ability. Until next time, see ya!